about it. And everybody in the minority party, there's some, they're fearing what Donald Trump would do in the next administration while they sit here and they look at the guy who's been persecuted by the FBI. And everybody in the room understands it. Mr. Allen, do you have comments you wish to make? I give you about a minute, minute and a half, and then I want to turn it the rest of my time to Mr. Jordan. Yes, sir. I would just say that I consider the hearing today my last act of service as a public servant for the United States of America. Uh, and I'll give you my professional opinion. Uh, I was an intel professional for our country for many years, uh, and I would give recommendations, and I'd also look at indications and warnings. So I would offer this to the American people as my warning to them. Since this is a warning to the American people, I say, I personally have no confidence that the FBI will rein in its own conduct. I've been persecuted along with Garrett, <clears throat> Steve and Kyle, and countless other whistleblowers. It is my opinion that the Bureau used reprisal and fear to control the workforce. It has been a seemingly effective tactic. I personally believe that there are no current effective checks and balances against them conducting lawless action with any type of correction in a legitimate time frame. I welcome the work of the IG, but I think any type of lawless action, there's no legitimate time frame to rein them back in. Their ability to overclassify information can allow them to stonewall forever. To the American people, you have a duty as a citizen to vote, and I strongly urge you to do so. It's how you participate in the American experience. I know people have doubts about election integrity, but you must vote. It is your claim. Stake your claim and don't forfeit it willingly. Have your voice heard. My other recommendations are in the natural order. First, vote. The second is the Second Amendment. Arm yourself and know how to defend yourself. Make three to four friends in your neighborhood and promise to come to each other's mutual aid in times of harm, hardship. And during the Great Depression, people stocked up a pantry. So I think that's a good practice, especially in our economic times, and make sure you have three to four months of food. And as a person of faith, I'd say pray the rosary. Go to the First Friday devotions. That's for everybody, all my brothers and sisters of all faiths, and I know I'm Catholic, and read the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and live it every day. And that's all I have to say. Thank you for the time. You know, Mr. Allen, the fact that there are servants like you who have born up under persecution that a lot of political leaders in this country do not care about is the thing that heartens the American people, and I'm confident the American people will, will, will resolve the situation.